Hello everyone, I am Mr. Cheebs. Hopefully you can hear me okay. This is going to be a somewhat rushed video, but the one I'm working on right now isn't done in time for an upload, and I just discovered something that is like a huge game changer about five minutes ago, and I am freaking out about it. So, let's just hop into Blender. I'll show you what we're dealing with here. So check this out. If we make this a liquid inflow object, right? Um, and just, you know, bake this out, it'll obviously just emit some liquid. And bam, see that liquid is emitted, okay? This is pretty standard, you should all know this by now. I don't even know why this is in the video, but this is, okay. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little, getting a little sidetracked here. So let's free this data. Now, you may want to emit fluid from only part of your mesh at once, right? And if we're in, say, smoke mode, okay, you can see we get this handy dandy little vertex group thing where we can just assign vertices to a vertex group like that. And then if we pop back over here, we can just input that vertex group and it would only emit smoke from these vertices we put in that group earlier, right? However, in liquid mode, we can't do that, which may lead you to, you know, want to emit it from only part of a mesh. And we can do that pretty simply if we just duplicate these faces, P to separate by selection, and then we essentially have these as their own separate mesh. And if we just hid this in the render with this little toggle up here, then we'd be fine. We would be able to, you know, make it look like fluid is only emitting from these faces when in reality it's emitting from this thing, right? However, a little bit ago, I was messing around with you doing this through booleans because, I mean, these shapes are cool. However, you can't really animate a vertex group or anything like that, and booleans are just kind of funky. And if you need a refresher on what a boolean is, you essentially select one object, select the other, control plus pretty much adds them together into one object using modifiers. However, control minus subtracts one from the other. And I was experimenting with this to just emit fluid variably from part of the mesh. And if we just move the fluid modifier under here, it would take this mesh into account for the fluid rather than this one, right? And if we bake this out, I'll just take that down a little bit to speed this process up. And if we bake this mesh, it will emit from this shape that we have on screen here, the Boolean shape without applying the modifier, right? Because Mantaflow takes modifiers into account. However, we run into a problem soon as this modifier gets animated, okay? So if we put in a location keyframe for this Boolean object, and we'll just move it over, put in another location keyframe, you can see this is animated moving across the mesh. And if we bake this again, we'll run into a problem where the mesh doesn't update each frame. It only takes the initial one to account and the fluid emission mesh just doesn't update and it kind of sucks. So you can see here that it takes that initial mesh into account and then doesn't change it. However, about five minutes ago, I discovered the secret that actually fixes this problem. And it's literally just animating this mesh right here. And it doesn't have to be an actual animation. All you need to do is press I to put in a keyframe a single keyframe, it could be like any of these keyframe options. Just stick in freaking an available keyframe right there. Bake this again, and this essentially tells Mantaflow that this object is animated. So you need to get it every frame. You need to figure out where it is and what it's doing every single frame. And this essentially just fixes all of our problems. Because if we play this back now, because we have that one keyframe that does essentially nothing, it actually moves. The, the mesh is animated, the fluid emission mesh is animated, and this applies to essentially everything, okay? So I've tested this so far with shape keys, right? And it works with shape keys. I'll put a little example up on screen here. Okay, so here's the really cool thing. This applies to basically all modifiers, or in theory, it should. So if we throw down just a subdivision surface or something and a displacement modifier, and we'll just make this, you know, a cool little texture or something, right? And I'll just animate the size on this texture. 
so it changes every frame like that see how that's changing and we still have the like an old fake in there but i'll just get rid of that see how that is changing every frame okay we'll make this a fluid flow liquid inflow right and um if i just go back over and i bake this it's not going to change every frame it's not going to take into account the scaling on that texture and the way it changes through displacement and we'll see that in a couple of seconds here as soon as this is done see how it's just a static mesh while this thing is actually changing okay however it applies here soon as i stick in a single like location keyframe that i just did right there we delete this and we bake it again and mandaflow suddenly knows that this is animated and that it should be updated every single frame and it probably makes it take longer to bake which is why this is in here but i haven't seen this talked about anywhere and i just barely discovered it and it was like super frustrating for me for so long see that it's updating every frame because it has that single viewport animation keyframe in there so yeah that's essentially the lesson that's the video okay if you want a mesh that updates and it's not through like the keyframes in the viewport is through modifiers or shape keys or something like that just stick in a single animation keyframe and it'll suddenly work and it's amazing and i love this and blender you're so cool because this actually makes sense now that i've figured it out and uh yeah if you like content like this like the video subscribe to the channel i have a patreon if you want to check that out and i will see you all in the next one peace